Hey guys, um, and welcome to a tutorial for the Raspberry Pi. This one is about setting up an SSH client for your Raspberry Pi so that you can control it from your computer instead of having to hook up another monitor and keyboard and mouse, and all that stuff that just, for me at least, makes cords go absolutely everywhere. Um, so for this, all you need is an Ethernet cable um, or a wireless adapter, just something to connect your Pi to your router and a power cable for it. Oh, of course, and a PC as well. But setup on the Pi is quite easy for this um, step. Basically all you need to do is turn on SSH, um, which on some uh, Pis is already set up, but just to make sure, uh, if you're using Raspbian, sudo raspconfig, um, go to advanced options, and then SSH enable. Um, and just to make sure that it's enabled. Um, but, uh, so yeah. And there's one other thing you need to do on the Pi, and that is get your IP address. Um, so you're going to type in hostname dash I. Um, sorry, it's got to do capital I. Um, the dash I, for some reason, lowercase gives you a different one than that doesn't always work, so make sure you d use a capital I and not um, dash I. So it's got to give you a, an IP address that's 192.168 usually. Um, but so just make sure during this set that you are connected to your router um, and you have internet connection on your Pi because otherwise it will, it may not give you an IP address, it may not have assigned you one. But uh, so just remember that IP address, write it down somewhere, you'll need it later. But uh, yeah, that's all we need to do on the Pi, so let's move over to the desktop. Alright guys, so here we are on the desktop. Um, there are two programs you're going to need for this step, um, and those are um, Xming, which is this program right here out of my toolbar. Um, it is the, it's basically an imaging server, it's an X11 forwarding server, or client, um, which basically allows you to uh, display graphical components on your computer screen, because normally SSH only allows uh, a console to be used, but X11 just allows you to open up things like LeafPad and Scratch and Midori and Python games that are in their own um, bra or Windows. Uh, so it's it's just a useful thing to have unless you want to be using Nano to edit text files. Um, so and the other program you're going to need is Putty, which is your SSH client, and I'll have links to both of these in the description. So when you first open up Putty, um, you'll get this screen. You won't have these stored except for default, but um, yeah, so you'll just get this screen. And the first thing you want to do is go down to here to SSH um, X11 and enable X11 forwarding. This basically allows you to actually use the Xmain server um, for graphical components. And then next you want to go up to session and type in the host name that was or the IP address that you got in an earlier step. Um, from typing in hostname.i, so 192.168.1.240 was mine. And don't change the port because if you change the, unless you know what you're doing and you've already port forwarded, um, uh, the Pi won't recognize anything other than port 22 for SSH. Um, so yeah, and, and once you do this, you do want to probably want to save it in a session or a preset um, because otherwise you have to go in here and enable X11 forwarding every single time. Um, which is a pain. So, yeah, just save it so you can quick load it up later. But then when you're done, hit open. And that'll open up your Pi, your Raspberry Pi's terminal where you can log in. Default Raspbian login is obviously Pi and Raspberry. Um, and that'll just give you a normal console. Now, to start out, you can only really do a command line stuff. So you can basically do like CD, C, or whatever. Uh, that's just a folder I've created, but, um, and you can run, like, yeah, you can, you can basically just do command line stuff, um, but if you try to run a graphical thing like LeafPad, um, it'll give you an error that says cannot open display, and that's because you haven't set up your Xbing server yet. So the first time you run Xbing, you'll get a config, um, thing that you can basically just skip through. Um, most of the settings are good as default, um, so unless you know what you're doing, just leave it alone. Um, 
but yeah, and then after that you won't get the config again, you can just run it. So run Xming and you'll see it appears down in the system toolbar here. Um, Xming server zero zero. So now if we type in leafpad, um, then it will open leafpad in the new Xming window. And you can you do everything like open files and stuff. Um, so yeah. And yeah, and, and if we want to exit out of Xmain, you can just right click on that and exit. So it'll just shut that down. Um, so yeah, that's basically all you need to know uh, about SSH for the Raspberry Pi. Thanks for watching. Bye.